Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. I've never done a tutorial on Affinity Photo Beta, but this one, there's one feature that excited me and something that I always felt was missing. And that's why I used to have to keep switching to Affinity Designer. But I now that now it's going to be in Affinity Photo. You can download it yourself, and I have the links below, but remember there might be some bugs in it. But it doesn't affect your regular Affinity Photo. They, they can be run separately. There are several things in this beta, but I really am only going to focus on a few things that I thought was so special and that will really help me out and I think will help you out. So let's get started. The one thing I love, I absolutely love, is now in Affinity Photo, I can take a pen and create a path. And this is something we could not do before. We always had to go to Designer. And then I can take text and see when it gets to the squiggly line there, I could start typing text in it. So, um, I don't know, digitally. <laughs> My shameless plug, digitally fearless and oh, um, you don't see it I'm sorry because it is not it is white text but there it is there's black text and you can select that text and change the size of the font let me just select these and we can go bigger smaller follow it just follows all around and you could do everything you do normally in text and this was something only designer had but Photoshop always had it in Photoshop itself, so I, I'm so glad that they are going to be putting it in Affinity Photo. This alone, for me, is a deal breaker. This is what I feel like I've always been missing. Now, there's just a couple of other things. Uh, there's way more than what I'm showing you, and I will have the list of what the new features are so far in the description below, so you can check that out. So here's another thing. Say I want to make a selection. I'm going to go to stock photo and I'll just pull anything out. It doesn't really matter what it is. And in fact, to, to make it back to the normal size, I will do clip canvas and that makes it the size of the canvas. And sometimes I go to make a selection and I can't make the selection where I want it to. I have to remember to hit shift and I shift control or shift option. Uh, and start the selection. Everything is like crazy. But now I can make a selection and right here this check mark is from center. So if I don't have that, I'm making a selection and I'm trying to match this up. I'll, I'll deselect Control or Command D. But if I have that selected, I am making a selection from the center, which I love now because now I can pull it all out the way I want it to be. And I think this is so great. So some people like to work with the eye, your eye and some people like to work with numbers. So let's just show you what you can do now in curves. So I, I'm going to go to curves uh, and say I want to go this way and this way. I know now that these are my numbers right here, 0 0.291 and 0 0.222. So if I ever wanted to repeat that, I can follow those. I can also just let's say I delete that one and say I want this one at 0.5. I can do that and maybe this one at 0.5. But there you go. And that brings you directly to the center. So you can follow this um, and keep the numbers going and then maybe jot down these numbers and use it for something else. I don't know what you would use it for. I prefer using my eye on things, but. I think this is very useful to some people who really like to work with numerics. So the next thing I want to show you, I think it's very cool. So let's um, create something. You can, I'll, in fact, I'll use a couple of things. Let's say I wanted to create uh, this cog, right? I want no outline and I want a fill. And then let's say I do something with the pen tool. Let's try and do something like this I don't know what I'm doing exactly but I'm going to just do this and like that and like that and like that and like that and I don't want those to overlap so let's go like that and I'm going to also give that a color so I am going to right click and rasterize or I could also right click on the layer and say rasterize either way 
they need to be rasterized. So now, whatever is on your screen, say I want this cog, I can now take this cog and go to my brushes right up here. And if you don't see brushes, go View, Studio, Brushes. And I can go to my brushes and do, I don't want to mix it up with all, see, there's a whole bunch of brushes here, but I don't want to mix it up with all my brushes. So I am going to do uh, create a new category. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you click that category to rename it. You actually have to do this again and say rename. And I'm going to rename it. I don't want to mix it up with everything else. So I'll do DF for digitally fearless. And I'm going to say brushes. And that's my category. So from now on, I can go to all these brushes and there's my brush. And now whatever one I select, I can hit this here and say new brush from selection. And it's right there. And now if I select this one, I could say new brush from selection. It's simple as that. And here's the best part. You could take this now and double click it and you can decide on what size you want it to be. And you can decide on spacing and rotation and that pretty that's pretty cool right there and then dynamics is great because i really like to i think it's i'm trying to find it uh here rotation jitter so as you move your brush it could rotate and i'll leave it at that so i'll just show you that so now if i select that brush and i can pick any color now i can do say a red or an orange whatever i just picked whoops i thought i did orange Wait a minute, it didn't let me do it. Oh, because it's on the same level. So now I could do a new layer and pick a paintbrush and use that brush like that and see how it rotates with it. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know why I couldn't change the color though. It's a pixel brush and I should be able to paint in another color. So I think that might still be a bug, but I do like the fact that I, I can paint on with the brush that type of brush. So if, even on this, I don't know why, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna do the same thing, but if I pick a brush, so that's a bug they have to work out. And here's that brush right here. But if I double click on that brush, let's clear all of this out right now. Let's get everything out of here. So now if I double click on that brush and I can change the size, so maybe there's a color thing, I don't know, jitter, I can do, flow if I'm using a pen um, if I'm using a tablet pressure pen um, I would like to go to that's dynamic so I would like to I want rotation because when I rotate I want it to rotate I want the size to be maybe smaller and let's say I don't know what I'm doing with shape I have no idea I'm just playing here so I can leave it just like that and say close add a new layer and pick a paintbrush and pick a new paintbrush and it's still green, which I don't understand why it's green. Now, I might be missing something, but I would think that it should be the color that we're painting in or they haven't fixed that part yet. So I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, I'm gonna look around just to see texture. I don't see anything that says color. So I think that right now is still a problem. If it isn't, you, you guys could let me know because I don't really work that many brushes, but I think it should be different colors somehow. Uh, I'm looking for color, no. Nope. So I think personally, I think it might be still a bug. I'm not really sure. And a workaround is probably, you could do a color overlay, I'm guessing. Let's try, see. You could do a color overlay, but I don't think that's a good workaround. You should really not be working that way. But that's that's how you do brushes. I just like the fact that you can just select. Uh, you can create a brush from your selection. I think that's really pretty cool. And the last thing I do like, I have to admit, um, is I wanted I want my studio to set up be set up a certain way. So for example, if I want my layers, here's my layers panel here. And I don't always do, like I, am, I don't use histogram that much. So I am going to get rid of that. I'm gonna pull that out and get rid of it. And what I do now is, okay, I like my swatches, my brushes and my color here. And on the bottom, I don't use Navigator almost ever. 
So I'm going to get rid of that. And I would, I do like my channels and my brushes. I know everyone seems to go with all these effects and stuff, but my preference is I can pull that out when I need it, but I like to use the FX here and I'd rather have my channels next to my layers up here. So here's my layers, here's my channels, and here's my adjustments. I don't even use my adjustments here most of the time because I, I usually take this down here and, and pick my adjustments. Now other people do it the other way. I like to keep my studio very clean. And this is like, let's say I just leave it like this and this is what I want it to be. So now I can go to View Studio Presets and I am going to add a preset and I'm going to call that, I'm going to make that my default. So from now on, that's my default. And now let's say I decide one day I want this, I, I'm working and I want this out and something else going on here. I'll get rid of this and I'll get rid of this. And I could do a different kind of default or a, not a default. I can name a different kind depending on what I'm working with, but I really always just want to, right now I want to get it back to where I was. So I can go to presets and hit my default and everything comes back to what I had before. So I think that's a great feature too. And you should check out some of the other features. I have them listed in the description below. Remember, this is still beta, but it's very exciting. Again, the most exciting thing to me was I can do a text on path. And that alone to me is what I've been waiting for for quite a long time. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and please share it with other people. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.